Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a quick two box break of 2024 Panini Boys of Summer Baseball. Pick your team 10 from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. It's a fun, quick two box break and um, some decent hit potential in here too. So Daniel for getting the Mariners. He ended up getting the Marlins and the Rays as well. Little bonus teams for him. So thanks to him. Thanks to everybody for getting in. Let's see which two boxes we're going to do. We just cracked open a fresh case not too long ago. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six on the dice roll. And it's two. One, two. These we'll save for next time. Oh, I, I'll, and I'll post the next, if you're watching live, I'll post the next two boxer. After uh, after this break, yeah, I think uh, I think we're gonna start to see 2024 football products start to trickle out from uh, trickle out. So gold standards, one of them. Jackson Merrill, still your, to look at this a little bit later, 28 out of 99, still your odds on favorite for NL Rookie of the Year. That'll be for Patrick and the Padres. Jimmy and I were talking a little Tony Gwynn. Tony Gwynn only struck out 188 times in the entire 1990s. How crazy is that? Jay Buhner, 82 out of 149. Seattle, that's for Daniel. Didn't Jay Buhner have a great goatee? I feel like he had a... Maybe I'm thinking of someone else. Thought he did, but not pictured. If he did have one. Got Cade Horton. 132 out of 275. Cade Horton, here's a who? Barry and the Chicago Cubs. And there's Rhino for the Cubs to 99 for Barry. All right, now we should see Relic and then three autos. Relic, Andrew Painter, 13 out of 49. Painting Corners, that's going to be going to Matthew and the Phillies. And then we've got America's Pastime Boys of Summer Warming Bernabelle, 16 out of 75. So in lieu of, you know, with the licensing stuff, in lieu of like having more active players, you're gonna see more prospects like Warming Bernabelle and Andrew Painter, and then autos of like, you know, former stars. There's Walker Martin, San Francisco. Three color passion auto. That's a six out of 49. Are we, are we ever gonna see a hitter like Tony Gwynn? Probably not, right? Jimmy's saying 20, 2,440 career games, Gwynn only had 34 multi-strikeout games. So the odds were better that Gwynn would get four hits than striking out twice. Johnny Bench, nine out of 10. America's best. Reds, that's for Shane. I think people are saying maybe Luis Arias, when he went to the Padres, was like, you know, that's the closest we're gonna get to seeing a Tony Gwynn clone.
speaking of Tony Gwynn, I think that was Tony Gwynn Jr. on the on the call there. His voice sounds exactly like his dad's. It was color commentary for the uh, Padres TV network. Tony Gwynn Jr. or Chris Gwynn? No, Tony Gwynn Jr. Adam Wainwright, 56 out of 149. Yeah, so it's crazy to, if you ever, if you have like MLB TV, watch a, to, a, a Padres home broadcast, and more often than not, you'll hear Tony Gwynn Jr. doing color commentary, and if you remember his dad's voice, out of 275, there's Chase DeLander. For a second, you'll be like, wait, is that Tony? No, it can't be. Barry with the Rockies. Sebastian Walcott, 149. Rangers, that'll be for Kevin. And Jace Young to 275, Detroit. It's gonna be for Barry. Yeah, I think you might be thinking about Brian Peoples, Jimmy. He lives in, uh, yeah, he lives he lives in San Diego. I'm pretty sure, big Padres fan, especially Tony Gwynn. He's like a big Tony Gwynn collection. Um, here's Andrew Jones, 108 out of 149. I remember one of our one of the big hits that we posted pulled for him. I think out of flawless, a Tony Gwynn like bat barrel. One of one out of flawless. And I think I think he still has it. Cause I remember him like a a year or two later came up and visit us at the shop. Visit us at, at the shop and he still had it. And like a bunch of graded Tony Gwynn rookies and stuff like that. He had like a whole like you know, like flight case like full of like a bunch of great Padre stuff. Dustin Harris, 66 out of 149. Yeah, that was that was one of, every time I get reminded of that break, I remember that being like, that's a really cool break. You know, Peoples was a, is a Padres fan. I think that's who he was chasing. I'm not, I don't know if he was necessarily thinking Bat Barrel, but Dustin Harris going to the Rangers, Kevin. But like, you know, that, that was like his favorite player. That was his guy. You know, so I think he was like, man, I was watching it. He told me later on, he was like, I think, was like, I think I got a little emotional, <laughs> like, you know, because it's such a, you know, like it's just it's the thrill of the chase, right? And then when you finally get the thing that you're looking for, Alex Clemmy, sixty out of ninety nine. Cleveland, this is for you, Barry with the Guardians, and the last one is. This guy, Paul Skeens. How about that? 46 out of 49, rookie auto, Paul Skeens. Old Skeensy, going to Joe Lawson and the Pittsburgh Pirates. Nice. Pretty nice stuff in this, ladies and gentlemen. The next two boxes are in the store right now, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Check it out, boys of summer. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.